Hey everybody, Beyondrew TV here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another habitat speed build or zoo speed build. I'm not really sure what to classify this one because uh, uh, what we're doing today is uh, I, I found a concept image uh, for uh, what a future zoo or future habitat of a zoo um, could potentially look like. And uh, I thought it was just a really, really interesting um, idea behind it. And the building itself was just really, really, again, really interesting and everything. So I was like, you know what? I think I can go ahead and build it. Um, and that's what you're seeing happening right now. Um, and I was like, I just kind of want to do my take on this kind of thing. So uh, yeah, again, this is um, going to be a take on, and this is a real world thing too. This is um, uh, proposed for a zoo in Denmark. Um, I think it was supposed to be built last year in 2019. Um, I'm not sure if it was. I don't think it fully was though. But, um, but yeah, this was proposed for a zoo in Denmark. And uh, again, it's just the take on um, what future zoos could look like um, and how they should kind of be. So the idea is that... <clears throat> excuse me. The idea is that basically uh, you, you eliminate guests interacting with animals at all. Um, this giant building is basically supposed to be a, as uh, as one article puts it, a uh, <laughs> an enclosure for humans, basically. So instead of having your animals be in a, you know, a, a confined space or enclosure or whatever, you basically going to have the humans in a uh, confined space or an enclosure there. So that's what that giant um, circular building is. Um, there's no animals that go in there. That is where the humans um, go, and that's the only place that the humans go. And that's also where the uh, there's going to be like concessions uh, in the real world one. I didn't do any of this in the um, in the game, uh, but in the real world one, you uh, you can there's like concession stands where you buy your zoo tickets. Um, there's like underground viewing areas. Uh, this little ramp that we're building right here. Um, in uh, in real world, you'd be able to walk up that and have elevated um, views and everything like that. So all that it is trying to do is again eliminate any interaction between uh, animal and human uh, for the most part. So the uh, the animals should have no you know knowledge that the uh, the humans are even there uh, hanging out kind of thing. So um, again, I just thought it was a really really cool idea um, overall for the future of zoos and everything like that. And I just was kind of wanting to uh, take my hand at it here. So. Um, but yeah, as we're building here, um, we put in four different uh, animal habitats. Uh, from the concept art that I was looking at, you can clearly see uh, they show like two different habitats. And that's a panda uh, habitat and a Bengal tiger or some sort of tiger uh, habitat. So I go ahead and um, model closely after those there. Um, and then we also add in a kind of a North American side. I kind of split the, the habitat into two different um, areas around this uh, circle uh, building there. <laughs> so on the left side of the circle, it's kind of a more Asian kind of theme with our pandas and uh, Bengal tigers and everything like that. And then on the more right side, um, we have a um, we have a grizzly bear uh, habitat and also kind of a North American uh, prairie kind of habitat. It was I basically modeled it after the one that I did in Thornton Hills Zoo. Um, so yeah, we have bison and pronghorn in there. So just kind of wanted to do that. And and they touch on that in um, uh, in the idea of the more futuristic and modern zoo is um, having these um, animals uh, be able to interact with each other. So instead of just having, uh, you know, now we're not going to have grizzly bears and bison interact because we probably know what the result of that would be, but um, they're more talking about, you know, putting the bison and pronghorn together or, um, you know, you see a lot more zoos doing this today where they just try and have um, a lot of animals that are able to coexist in the wild together, um, kind of put those um, animals together. So that's, a, that's another idea of a future zoo there is to not have animals just by themselves, but to, um, again, if, you know, the bison bison and pronghorn can kind of hang out with each other and they get enrichment from that, then yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, it's all about just uh, creating um, the as much of a natural uh, habitat and a uh, really open and freeform habitat for the animals, um, the better, basically. So, um, so yeah, no, that's uh, that kind of uh, touches on the uh, the build there. Uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's kind of a complicated build, but on the other hand, it's kind of a, a pretty straightforward kind of build um, where it's just like, yeah, have this giant circular building um, right in the middle there and then have the habitat surrounding it. Um, so yeah, I just think it's a, a really, really neat idea there. And uh, I've shared uh, images of this build over the last week or so as I've been doing it. And I had a few people ask, well, how did you get that building so circular? Like, I have no idea. And if you missed it in the beginning, first, I do recommend go back and look real quick because you do get a good view of it. But um, if you don't know how to do the, uh, the circular building, trick um, there's a few videos out there I know one by Miss Red Nebula is really really um, good that uh, she covers it's for planet coaster but it still applies for um, planet zoo here but um, yeah I really recommend checking out her uh, video or going back to the beginning of this video and just kind of looking at the time lapse but it's all coming down to uh, using a uh, there's a, a gridded column piece and uh, then you know you, you 
you use that as your starting base and uh, you make a grid off of that and I'm explaining this really badly. Go watch their videos. It's really hard to explain. <laughs> it's one of those show not tell kind of things. So um, but yeah, as we're building right here, uh, this is a bit that I did not get to record. Um, and this is kind of the entrance way up into um, our more uh, our, into the uh, the building and everything. So. This is again taken from the um, from concept art um, for this zoo and everything like that, and it looked like they had like a little bit of like a marshland area um, just before it. Um, so I really like how uh, the idea of just combining all of these different. Um, uh, uh, biomes and um, ecosystems and everything like that so you kind of you know you as a guest as you're walking um, through this zoo you get to just um, in a, sh a cramped little area you get to experience yeah again like a marshland um, across from here is just like a little like a natural lake little thing and then you get up into the habitat and you have an Asian area and a um, you know North American area if I was to expand it I'd add in you know like an African savanna and stuff like that so um, yeah it's just really really cool to uh, kind of um, combine all these different um, biomes and um, ecosystems and stuff and one thing I really wish we had for this because they showed it in the concept art but um you know in this little marshland area it's supposed to be a habitat it's supposed to be a natural habitat and there was like geese and dragonflies and um i'm trying to remember what else there, were, there was uh oh god uh, saltwater uh, crocodiles I think it was or maybe alligators which ones hang out in the marshland more uh, but anyways yeah uh, just this was supposed to be more of another uh, kind of natural habitat could have added in the alligators but um it just didn't i added them in uh off camera and it just didn't feel right with them you couldn't really see them that well in there as well uh because of how marshy it was and stuff so i just kind of opted to not use it but yeah um i hope we get some of that stuff in the future you know even like i said like the dragonflies i'm sure we won't get those just kind of free uh free roaming and stuff but uh, you know like canadian geese like just something simple like that that would have been great to uh add in there so um but yeah back into the building here oh i did want to mention a big shout out to miss uh t uh, oh my gosh, I'm going to get your name right because if I don't, I'm going to feel terrible. Tia R. Roseward975 over off the Bro Nation Discord. Um, I was doing a live stream. You might have noticed a little jump in time there. Um, I did do a uh, about a two or three hour live stream uh, where I did forget to hit record. That's my bad. Um, but uh, that is up on the channel if you'd like to go and check that out. Again, it's like three, three and a half hours long. So yeah, if you're hanging out at work or you got some time, you just want to put it on in the background and watch and see how the uh, that little lapse in time kind of uh, came about go ahead and do that but anyway she made those really awesome or they I'm not I don't want to assume uh, they made those awesome uh, little dandelion modern art pieces that you might have seen um, inside the middle of the circle there so um, that was uh, really really thankful that she did that there I'm gonna link the uh, or they I keep saying she I just I keep assuming how dare me um, <laughs> um, but I'll go ahead and put a link down below for the blueprint for that if you'd like to put it in your zoo as well it's a really really cool little uh, modern art piece there now I was just kind of struggling doing that and uh, they were like here take this I was like oh Thanks. So, <laughs> uh, what we're building on here is the uh, is the Bengal tiger uh, habitat. And again, tried to really mirror the uh, concept art um, that I was taking a look at there. And it was just a really cool. Um kind of it almost looked like ancient ruins that they had but um it still had that kind of modern kind of uh vibe to it and stuff like that and um this was kind of a pain in the butt to get <laughs> i'll be honest it was kind of a pain in the butt to get this habitat um kind of done up well just because the um almost all the animals go through this except for like the dull sheep i feel like but uh the tigers it was it was hard for them to take a step basically like a step up um and yeah we were having a heck of a time on the live stream trying to get it going I, I got really excited when it finally worked but um yeah I just I don't understand why um the limitations are so uh fierce with animals not being able to take a simple you know step up so we eventually had to literally make the step like <laughs> just so small um but yeah it's like you know animals in real world you, you do see animals uh, able to take steps and stuff so i'm just i'm really not sure the decision to make uh make it like that but anyways we eventually you know we got it and the, the tigers um hang out up here and um they, you know interact with all of these uh different little uh, platforms and all that fun stuff there so that was uh that was really fun to finally get that to uh, kind of come to fruition and uh, you know uh, uh, be able to work and everything there so um, but yeah, like I said, for the uh, the next few habitats, uh, there's two more after this, and it's going to be the uh, the bison and pronghorn, or kind of our uh, grassland uh, North American prairie, and then a grizzly bear habitat. I'd like to say that I do like some really cool things with those habitats, but I wanted to keep those like really natural uh, looking and everything. So those are pretty much, um, if you've seen Thornton Hills Zoo or any of my other one-off builds that, um, for grizzly bears or anything like that, then you'll kind of know the idea that we're going with that. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the main attraction I think for this is going to definitely be the Bengal tiger uh, habitat there. And 
Uh, yeah, and I really like how it came out and everything. So, uh, but no, overall, um, that kind of wraps up my commentary for the actual build there. But what's going on for the uh, the channel um, overall is that I've uh, let's see what what happened. Oh, Buxton Zoo. If you haven't watched uh, Buxton Zoo, which is the collab between myself and Vigo Man, um, definitely catch episode one there. Episode two is going to be coming out as of recording this. It's going to be coming out very shortly, actually. So you'll have to uh, get caught up there. So definitely check out Buxton Zoo. That is a heck of a lot of fun to be able to do a, a collab with Mr. Vigo Man there and uh, have that zoo come together. And uh, in other news, I got uh, Thornton Hill Zoo back. I, I finally got um, Thornton Hill Zoo back from uh, Mr. Mike Sheets there, Mr. N7. So I'm going to be uh, kind of going in there and doing some building. So hopefully in the next few days, we'll start to uh, pump out some uh, Thornton Hills Zoo videos there finally. I know it's been a little bit of a break, right? So I'm um, excited to get back into Thornton Hills Zoo and get stuff going there. So yeah, there's going to be um, you know some fun stuff going on in the channel and everything between uh, Thornton Hills Zoo. Um, it's my turn with Buxton Zoo, so I'm building in Buxton Zoo right now. And I still would like to do some more of the, uh, you know, these kind of one-off builds here like this or like our... Uh, gorilla habitat or you know anything that we've kind of done uh, in the past there so um, but yeah no it's gonna go ahead and uh, pretty much wrap it up there folks hey if this is your first time hanging out with us don't forget to hit that subscribe button helps you stay up to date with all the latest stuff on the channel and everything like that and also hit the like button helps out the video a whole bunch uh, helps you get more exposure and all that fun stuff there so hey thanks so much everyone there's only a few more minutes left on the uh, the time lapse there so go ahead and enjoy that with all the groovy planet zoo tunes in the background and uh, yeah hey I'll uh, I'll catch you in the next video there thanks so much